it's time to do a move you for something on Delta because it's the month of October and I haven't been doing reviews since the month of May. So basically, the purpose is it's 10 years later following the release of some Tallahassee. Yes, Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and we're alive. We've been living, have been living like a family all these years. And Wichita, uh, Willow Rock decides to be on her own. She she looks for a boyfriend and she wants to have, and then wants to, and then she comes across this group of people who do not fight zombies. In the uh, it's up to uh, Tallahassee, Columbus, and Wichita to find a little rock who's grown up in this movie compared to the last movie. And yeah, they fight up these there's zombies. So I'm going to double taps the uh, intro before the movie starts with the torture fighting all the zombies that was that's it that um opening sequence that was pretty funny okay. no one messes the club here too much lady anyways i'm like i'm making this video but this is a movie review that i want to have in mind because there was multiple reasons why i wanted to do a review for double tap one to honor the zombie lands 15 year anniversary and two to honor the five year anniversary for this movie which as of making this movie review something that like something like Dove Tap's five year anniversary is not yet arrived but I'm a, I'm a little early to celebrate Zombie and Dove Tap's five year anniversary but it is what it is. Anyways there are some issues with me and all because I you mean know, it's I mean it's still pretty entertaining to say the least, but we have Madison. Madison was not that fun. But you know, because she does like with Matthew Davis Media said in his review for this movie back in 2019. She tries to, she tries to create this little, little love triangle between her, Vegeta, and Columbus. No way. But they try to ditch her until she becomes a zombie. But uh the weird thing is with when I would look at that, because um Madison actually uh, turned back to normal, and then you had um, some new characters, other new characters, including uh, Nevada, who, which a very fun cool was. She played; she was the owner of this Elvis Steam Motel. That was pretty cool, because Nevada's like having a huge regard for Elvis Presley, the King of Rock and Roll baby. <laughs> And then you had, um, it's like, Tallahassee treating Little Rock like a, as his own daughter. That's a pretty hard one because they've been living all together like a family for all these years. I'm talking about Tallahassee, Columbus, which Tata and Little Rock, the main four that we saw in the um, first song of that movie. And Little Rock's all going up and more blind this time around, instead of, um, and then we had Luke Wilson with, uh, Thomas Middish. I mean, they were trying to mirror Columbus and Tallahassee. And then we had Berkeley with Pacificus that Little Rock picks up. And then we had, um, that's pretty much like the characters, and we also have like Bill Murray too. 
Speaking of Ben Mori, I remember he dressed up as a, he tried to disguise himself as a monster. He got a little cameo from the Ghostbusters theme and then the outfit he had on for Ghostbusters 2. That was pretty cool, but... And never forget, some of the adults have basically had the uh, Ben Mori cameo, just like the Ghostbusters, uh, some of them. Instead of, um, he looked like his normal self. This time around, instead of um, what he did, uh, I thought he played. Didn't they kill him? During the other movie, that in the first one, and then this one, he, he gets breakfast. But there was also some other um, rules that don't doubt have included with some line. I mean, we had some cool things about zombies that look real. I mean, some of them look hard to kill, others get. Some zombies get more clever, as like what um, Columbus would mention. Take the you shit. There was no Twinkies this this time around. I mean, Telehouse he did enjoy having Twinkies, but so why didn't they not bother with the? Twinkies this time around like they did in the first movie. I mean, Tallahassee had quite the obsession with Tallahassee uh, Twinkies, but I digress. Not for Well, anyways, I mean, Zombieland Double Tap is some movie that I would enjoy again. But Zombieland, the one I did a review last year, still is one of the Funniest horror comedies that one of the best horror comedies of the 2000s. This is one of the um, more horror comedies that I would enjoy again. I mean, why not? It really seems to be a fun horror movie to watch in comedy manner because you know it's a comedy in the horror in the horror setting where they. With the with Tallahassee, Columbus, Wichita, and Little Rival surviving the, together as a big family instead of being in the West, uh, coming in the, like, I think it was the White House that we're living in. And then they meet some new people that were also survivors. We also get the Elvis theme motel. Madison was. I mean, was that one character that was like kind of a pain in the butt, like on the annoying ones, but like dumb ish. But but the performances by Willie Harrison was that guy Jesse Eisenberg, Emma Stone, and Abigail Brisson. I mean, yeah, God, God, I love their performances. This will be definitely a It was also worthwhile success here. The forest is beautiful. But despite how annoying that Madison was. The Zoe Deutsch who plays her had her performance be raised. You know, speaking of rating for this movie, I'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five. Zombieland, the 2009 movie, is still gonna be the one I. I'll still enjoy it more and more because it's a classic horror comedy. It's one of the greatest horror comedies from the last day, uh, from the 2000s. Zombieland and Dell Tap, on the other hand, still pretty, still get some entertainment from it. Oh, sorry about that. Still, 
maybe it was worth it, just like with Dumbledore. And I'm very sorry about that. Well, I'll be here for this review for Zone Double Tap. I have nothing else to say, but anyways, um. Actually, the reason why I want to get back to making reviews because I've been lacking in more reviews, but um, yeah, I have um, I my well, last one was back in May when I I've been done once since I've reviewed um, Ghostbusters and Final Destinations, and um, I actually do want to get to review the uh, the other Ghostbusters movies on campus. October is pre actually is not a bad idea to make reviews for those movies. And as for our, the rest of the Destiny movies, I'll, I'll get to review those as well. But yeah, October should be a, a perfect month to review them because hard movies are the perfect movies to watch around Halloween, especially the month of October before the Halloween, I mean the holiday season comes around November and December. Think about Christmas movies, and hopefully I'll get to get back to reviewing Christmas movies because the last time I reviewed something that was Christmas like was back in 2022. I watched that stuff Christmas story movie that was came out on Max. My sister doesn't have that service. I mean, streaming service anymore. I'm glad to review, it, but it's on DVD too. But yeah, that's some land old tub, like I said. So, oh, but as I continue to review more horror films, I actually wanted to review Cloudy and Chance of Meatballs because one, it's 15 year anniversary, and two, a movie that I like. I'll get to that, and then more horror films, more reviews for horror movies. Stay tuned for more reviews in the future.